starting our vlog today. Chase is out riding with Yummy and I'm about to go run some errands and go to the gym. Because pineapple is good for flushing salt out of your body, I wanted to cut up some pineapple that I bought the other day. Another thing that pineapple is really good for is uh, it helps reduce like inflammation in your bones, like in your joints and your muscles. Obviously you can't have too much pineapple because it's really high in sugar, which everybody knows it's not good. Uh, another good thing that pineapple is uh, good for is vitamin C. And this time of year, everyone needs extra vitamin C. Oh, it helps with digestion. So, helps keep you regular. It's just an all around amazing fruit. Anyways, like I said, just don't have too much because it's really high in sugar. Pace yourselves before you wreck yourselves. I'm stupid as hell. That kind of room. So I don't know how many of you actually buy the fresh pineapple. It seems like it would be a duh thing to do, but growing up, I was not raised with uh, very many fresh fruits and vegetables. So maybe some of you were the same way. Uh, when I got into my 20s and you know, obviously grocery shopping for myself, I was like, well, why not attempt a pineapple? So um, anyways, I didn't learn this until then, but whenever you are cutting up a pineapple, you can actually, I think, pull this off or like, pop it off <laughs> yeah I was that I thought that was pretty cool whenever I found that out but uh, yeah anyways that's what it looks like and then you cut this off cut the top off cut the bottom off and you cut the outside part of it off and then there's a core in the middle right here that you want to get the pineapple off of and then you cut it into chunks store it away Time it is now, but it's got to be hours at some point. And I've been craving grits, and they're technically vegetarian. <laughs> so we came to Waffle House. I did. It's it's horrible, right? What, what did I do? A waffle, hash browns, and grits. And I did waffle and hash browns. Nothing but carbs. But <laughs> we have been riding off road for like what time is it right now? It's two. We've been off road for three hours. We've been doing off road riding for three hours. We're absolutely exhausted and famished. So don't. We well, got here thirty seconds ago. <laughs> no, no, no. I know. I'm doing. Look, I got orange juice and I got water, and Yummy's doing his coke thing. But mistakes are being made now. I'll make them up later. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? So we're leaving. Yep. We're see. Look, look. The look. The bike has dirt on it, so that's been my workout today. Yummy's got his dirt. Like riding off road is actually some serious shit. So that's where we ate. We ate at Waffle House. I was craving grits, right? Like I wanted grits really bad. Instead of going doing the smart thing and getting like one little packet of grits, I'm like, no, I'm gonna go to Waffle House. And the food was like, meh. Sorry, Waffle House, but like you shouldn't go to Waffle House for great food. But the good thing about it is now I've got my grits fixed. I'm like, I don't really, I'm good for a while. Like I want like veggies right now, so we're good. But that happened for lunch. Sorry, Hope, can we cut to Heather eating like real healthy for lunch or something? That'd be great. What's going on everybody? I'm finally back at the house. Me and Yummy went riding earlier and we left Heather here. Supposedly there's pineapple footage that I haven't really looked at yet, but I'm really excited to watch that later on. And y'all saw how I went to Waffle House with Yummy and got grits and a waffle. Or did you vlog? Uh, yeah, a little bit. But then I come home and this is what Heather's having. Oh yeah, spinach salad, carrots, almonds. I'm over here like, yeah, I didn't just go to Waffle House. <laughs> I'm trying, I really am trying hard, but I was craving that and I ate, I ate it and now I'm regretful for eating it because it wasn't even that good. So now that's out of my system. How do you do such good food eat thing? Well, I, first of all, I just don't go out. Yeah. I mean, I don't go to a restaurant. You don't go riding with Yummy? That's probably, a, that's probably my first mistake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we had a really good time. I don't want you to record my backside, ever. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. 
What's going on, guys? So, me and Heather were looking at... I guess I can just leave this on the bed. We were looking at recipes on Pinterest, and we think we've come across white bean and avocado baked burritos. They look like that, which looks freaking delicious, but I don't know if ours will be able to look the same. These look really good, though. It's basically like a burrito with filled with, like, brown rice and mushrooms and all this other kind of stuff. Anyway, um... We are going to go to the store and get, uh, there's a few things in there that we didn't get at the store the other day. So we're going to go grab those at the store and then we're going to try making these. So hopefully that goes all right. Spicy, one ten. Half of a cup. Oh my good god, that's okay. We're not gonna put any more than that. Ours are, gonna, ours are gonna be little baby burritos. Okay, so suppose that me, you're supposed to do like this. Push it in. Ooh, crap. Yeah, those are probably gonna fall apart. That's fine. That's way too much stuff in that. Okay, well, it's fine because it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's what we're gonna do. Look at that, it'll fit in there. Okay. Okay, so these are just gonna totally fall apart, which is totally fine. I think fine. we just put too much in that one, so let's just try less stuff in that because they're not made to hold a bunch of stuff. Over, in, in. Chase was a burrito maker in a past life. I was a burrito maker of, what was it? What's the, um... Preacher. Preacher. <laughs> I was a bartender. I've pretty much lived every life I can possibly live at this point. T, you got this. We believe in you. Let us know in the comments how you think Heather's burrito rolling skills are about to be compared... Oh God, mine look horrible. Let's just not look at mine. Okay, back to the cute girl. It's just because of the gluten-free burrito. Yeah. We've never tried these burritos, so hopefully they taste well. Ew. Okay, gluten-free burrito. We got our filling. Wow. We're going to have so much left. I know. That's we, fine, though, because it's delicious. I know. That filling is way better than I expected it to be. I yeah, had some pretty too. low expectations. I don't normally eat beans, and these were pretty good. Yeah, I thought so, too. Don't worry, babe. I'm zooming in on that burrito action. Yeah. I'm giving it some air time. Damn, Daniel back at it again with the rice. Back it again with the white rice, but it's not white. <laughs> it's bad. Okay, now tell me how you did the folding thing. Okay, so it's this part. This way, you get halfway up, you push the sides in, you roll in. It's not, I don't even know how to describe. Yeah, just get dirty with it. Get dirty with it. No, 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 no. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Something like that. Yeah, now just roll it like a sushi roll. Or... Do that and just hurriedly place it into the thing. Okay, let's pretend we did a great job. Don't worry about the way the burritos look. They're gonna taste delicious. And now we add the tomato sauce on top. I think so. In. Yeah. Um, so let's tomato sauce these up and get them in the oven. Give me some air time. Give me some air time. <laughs> How long? 25 minutes. 25. We made all of this food. Like the, to me, they're pretty big. Big burritos here. And we still had, we, we actually, we cut the recipe in half. Yeah. And we still had enough for three of those burritos and Chase basically made like a taco bowl. We've got some burritos coming out of the oven. How they look? That looks pretty good Mexican to me. Awesome. All right, so now there's this interesting part of taking it from this molten hot glass. Well, don't touch it yet. Jalapenos, jalapeno, mouth. Got him. Are they crispy as hell? I see. Well, they came out easily. Like, the, <sighs> they didn't stick. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at that. Got him. Oh, God. <laughs> 
So we're gonna go try these burritos and see how they are. And we will let you guys know tomorrow how they were. So make sure you watch tomorrow to find that out. And if you like us doing these cooking videos, uh, be sure to let us know in the comments below and we will uh, keep doing them. Mmm, burritos. And as usual, if you guys wanna give us a virtual hug, make sure to hit that like button and work hard. Be positive and give a random person a thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye. Oh, wait, hold on. Bye. <laughs> That's how the cool people do it.